I gotta tell you, it's just been a lot. So my office is about an hour 15 commute. And it's funny because you can be doing a lot of things. All right, I'm busy. I can't do this. I can't do this. And people understand it. It's gotten to the point that that hour commute is really affecting the day. So you know what? My wife is at her office. I have the place to myself. Super cool. Um, that being said, so I hope I really surprised everyone with the email today. Um, a lot of people, you know, I, I sometimes, I sometimes always want to spend an extra moment sharing with everyone who our rhinos really are. And I did go into it last week in terms of how we were able to, uh, connect and introduce ourselves to really a large portion of our rhinos, which has always been, we were going to send very, uh, color me surprised. You're the best. We were always going to send the most friendly, the most inviting, the most value packed, but the logic makes sense type emails. And it didn't matter who they were being sent to. And that sounds a little bit like, oh, Anthony, you're just sending emails all over the world, which I was. But it has a poor connotation because people today actually just look at everyone as a number, right? If I go ahead and put this in this email and send it to a thousand people, let's see who says yes let's go ahead and uh take a look at their demographics five people said yes four of them were women between 25 and 34. great this message plays with them let's go buy a list of women 25 to 34 or give it to facebook women 25 to 34 write this message and boom we got it that's disgusting that's never been rhino in fact rhino doesn't even know the demographics of those in rhino can i look it up of course but even still i don't even know how i would do that right like, I know Robbie is a woman because I've spoken to her. If I looked at the name, I might not think the same because Robbie is traditionally short for Robert, right? Like a boy's name. The point being, I don't have it listed places. All right, we have 37% women and 54% over 20. That doesn't exist in Rhino. And that's what, uh, that kind of logic born what, uh, what Rhino Street is, the search engine in the sense that we don't believe that if you're noble and ethical, that you need to know the demographics of those you're marketing to. In fact, local business, which has been the backbone of this country since day one, had never had the benefit of knowing the demographic. You might say, well, Ant, of course they did. They were in a town. They looked around. They saw how many were women, how many were men, yada, yada, yada. I agree. I can promise you, though, the number of women and men were fairly equal because in a town, you have things called family, you have things called children. And the last time I checked, which, you know, was a year ago, which is really long ago in the toll 2020, 21, 22, was that one boy and one girl would equal a child, right? So local community was always a fair balance. And more so than that, it did not matter if you observe the demographics, that's fine. You could not change them. The point being your local community had a finite population. That population was not going to move because you said, hey, listen, women 25 to 34 are more receptive to my offer and I really like the business I'm running. So I think uh, all the men should leave and all the women should come in because what would happen? Well, you're your community would die after like 100 years because it's not reproducing, right? The point being local business and local community, the reason it was the backbone and still is the backbone of this country is that local business was always dependent and served that of the local community. They, the business of local business, right? For instance, Lou's Shoes did better than say Nike because Lou's Shoes held up as an example to the children or the local community. Hey, look at Lou. It's a family business. It's been in there for three generations. Um, he hires the children locally. He trains them. He has a scholarship program. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and buy my next shoe at Lou's Shoes because I appreciate what he's doing for this community. He is a pillar of what we want this community to be. He's going to be one of the pillars that's going to allow my children to have children that have children that are all well off. That's been local business, that's local community, that's Rhino. Because the messages and the email outreach that we've done since day one has been completely blind and completely agnostic to who's receiving it. 
the the point of it all was can we go ahead and share a message that people like not women not men not black not white but people do people like because if people like our message then the hard part is creating the message right the hard part is dialing in that message because once we understand that people like our message diverse across the whole entire globe then we can share it no matter where we go like the hard part is always well at least for us is being done first most businesses and most corporations they find it quite easy to run business and it is right like listen to this i'm an investor right i you know what i'm not even an investor i'm just a smart guy and i get a whole bunch of investors and they give me 10 million dollars okay and I say to them, it's a SPAC. It's a special purpose acquisition company. Guys, don't worry. You give me $10 million. I will give you 10% return on that every single year. Well, Anthony, how are you going to do that? Well, I have this thing called a computer. It has Facebook and Google, and I'm just going to run a bunch of ads. I'm going to test them. I have this great AI technology that allows me to test thousands of ads. And then I'm going to analyze who clicked those ads. Then I'm going to, uh, upon analyzing who clicked that I'm going to identify the demographics and I'm going to send those ads that are most popular to the demographic to only that demographic and I'm going to do it over and over and over again until I saturate the market to such a point that there's no one left to sell it to but don't worry well before then we'll take the stock we'll go public we'll be Peloton we'll be whatever whatever garbage company that only had a product that tricked everyone like whatever the case may be and don't worry, you'll make your money, but we'll do it to like those private banks like Goldman and and not to single out Goldman, right? But like, we'll bring it to Wall Street and they'll get their clients super excited. Hey, did you see this company? It's been growing really, really fast. Well, duh, it's been growing fast. You've been saturating the entire market. And you know what? We're gonna give it to you. We're gonna give you the opportunity that only those that in the beginning could have got. Oh my God, wow, I'm so lucky. No, it's the investors that know it's saturated that are now giving it to you. Say, hey kids, see you later. Thanks for the money. That's Wall Street. And it just happens over and over and over again. You have companies like Apple that stay around because they care, but you have companies like Peloton that are like, oh, we got this like, like uh, what was that uh, camera? The GoPro, right? Like stuff like that. What made Rhino different and makes Rhino different is the sense that we've always since day one tried to identify a message and share it with everyone. That is not easy to go ahead and find it. I could only tell you, and most of you know, because most of you have been on the other, other end of the phone with me, where Anthony, I don't like this. Anthony, I don't like that. Anthony, I do like this. Anthony, I do like that. We should do more of that. Take that, multiply it by the entire universe of Rhino. And that is what's actually happening right now. You guys know more than anyone. I could talk for more than 10 minutes. The reason I only talk for 10 minutes is because this is what Rhino says that's important so let's take all that put it well not to put it aside like let's regur uh not regurgitate let's absorb it digest it because today's email was the was the email of emails what i was trying to spend eight minutes getting to was that the rhino community had said to me for a very long time anthony let's get it perfect and let's have that one day where every one of us can strut our stuff and do what we need to do and we could all be a part of building this like we always have because when you're building something, if you say, okay, Brian, you do this this week, and Abdul, you do this this week, and Esteban, you're doing really good, and Eve, you're doing really good, there's no cohesiveness. It's no like, hey, all right, I, I did it last week. Cool. Is, is, is that good? No. Today's that day. We went ahead and did a, uh, a, um, a soft nudge yesterday to try the system. We had over 55 different referrals. Not a single one signed up. Now, the first 40 referrals were going to a link that was the referral link. So, duh, we had to find out that. And along the lines of you never know what you don't know, that's in that bucket. But it also goes in the bucket of, and that seems like a careless mistake. Like, how could no one have seen that? I can promise you I have did the autopsy on it. It's not careless. It's just there's so much stuff. And I'm never going to hold my team or anyone to flawless standards because that doesn't exist. When you can say you're not perfect, I'm not perfect, but we're perfect together, that equals perfection, that's Rhino, right? So I know it's at 1010. I'm going to go for the next two minutes. When I think back, actually, when I think forward of a world where Rhino is doing what it needs to do, where we have that option of the local search engine, where everyone that had been taken advantage for far too long and not taking advantage of like, hey, I'm going to punch you in the head, 
But no, I'm just going to keep you uneducated to know that I'm actually taking your data and buying and selling it and keeping the profits while you're on a hamster wheel, right? Like that is taking advantage. You cannot tell me that Google is worth one and a half trillion on a free product and not tell me that there's billions of people that are getting taken advantage of. It just doesn't work that way. You cannot tell me Facebook is worth a trillion and that it's a free product because I, my mother said to me, Anthony, nothing is free in life, right? That's, that's the rule. If you think something's free, you're the product. That's the rule. So along those lines, when I look forward at what Rhino can be and what we believe it to be and all the work that we did to know it can be, what is that worth? What is the millions of members worth? What is the value of the coin upon all the members worth? What is the value of the search engine upon all the members building it worth? And I do think a lot of times people talk a good game, but then they forget, well, if I'm telling people their partners and I'm telling people their owners, well, there's another side of that, like they have to be paid. And a lot of people think, well, you know, I, I could say that and I, I'm the owner, so I'll do like an affiliate offer, you know, they'll, they'll be happy with 10 coin. Because I gotta tell you, there's a lot of people in Rhino that have questioned me, Anthony, a million coin, like what's wrong with you? And it's because they're the believers of Rhino. We all know what it could be worth. So to those people, that coin is worth a million dollars. On this email, we're inviting personally, one-to-one, -one, or socially posting. Um, you can do whatever you like. If you post socially, I won't be able to track like you did it. But, Robbie, if you tell me you did it, then done, right? Like, I don't need to um, audit you. But in terms of our back end, we only know who invites who by this person, person A invited person B. So if you do it socially, um, we can't see that. Um, but honestly, hey, Anthony, I posted it here, here. I got like a thousand clicks. Okay, Robbie, you win, right? Um, and that's because we know you, that's Rhino. But the point I was getting at was, well, what is that worth, right? So what if every single person that referred 20 people today, it doesn't matter if they sign up, 20 people are referred that means we have 20 people in our system that means 20 people got our best email 20 people of your friends got your direct uh referral to do so and those 20 people are in our email going forward if everyone did that if we had 9,000 people open our email yesterday right we have 250 people that are that are um part of rhino retirement is there a number in, in between if a thousand people did 20 that's 20,000 people that are in the rhino universe just for rhino what is that worth? If someone came to me and said, Anthony, I'm gonna give you 20,000 people that are in it for you, their friends told them and they're interested in what you're doing. And since Anthony, you said you like did all this testing and your message and blah, 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 you should be fine. What's that worth to you? Is it worth, I don't know, a hundred million coin? Is it worth 10% of the coin? Is it worth 20% of the coin? Because with it, the coin goes to a thousand. Without it, the coin stays at $1.19, $1.20. What's it worth to you? I feel like a lot of business owners do not understand that question does not need to be asked by your customers for it to be be for it to have been asked. If you do not hear it being asked, it's because you're ignoring it and you're selfish. So one day only, let's do it. Everyone go ahead and refer everyone you possibly could. The system's built for it. The emails are built for it. They're going out by Salesforce. They're going out from my email. You have complete control of it. I, I, I wrote up the most amazing copy. And the people that you refer, they're going to get an email saying, hey, listen, you joined, congratulations. Now, why don't you do the same for someone else so they can go ahead and start off with a million as well. This is what's happening today. And the person that goes ahead and refers the most will get that extra million. And we're going to recognize them in the email tomorrow and really sing their praise. Um, because I imagine I'm probably going to know who it's going to be. Not that I know who it is, but I imagine I will know who they are. Um, a, because I know everyone, but B, I, I know those that are most engaged. But if it is someone that I do not know, wow. If it's someone that does 50, if it's someone that does 60, if it's someone that does 100, granted, how do you do it? One by one by one, fine. But that's to go ahead and protect her. I know that no one could just spam the whole system. There is a method to the madness and we have always built slowly and we're going to get it done. I'm sitting here in my kitchen. I'm sure that many people would say, Anthony, that's not cool. You can't get on a live like that. What are you doing? Well, we have a couple of hundred people here and every single person out there I know right now is not thinking, oh my God, 
you know, Anthony didn't shave as well. No, Anthony's working. So I love you. I do. do. Give us 20, give us 25, give us 30. And anyone that knows me knows if you do well over 20 and you're not the winner, I'm going to take care of you. So like, like people are hearing me right now saying, oh, wow, Anthony, you're insightful. You understand that just because we're not saying it to you doesn't mean that you don't have a responsibility to everyone that's part of this. I want to say the same to you. Just because I'm not saying, hey, Anthony, hey, Brian, hey, Brian, hey, Esteban, why haven't you done 20 or why can't you do 20 or you should do 20 does not mean that you're absolved from it. You want to be in a partnership. You want this together. I'm doing it. This is what I'm offering. I'm taking how much equity in the coin and giving it to you right now. Just accept it. And by accepting it, do your part. And let's really, really high five tomorrow. Uh, Leon, hey, are you saying that we only have to refer people and they don't have to sign up? Well, I don't want to celebrate that. But yeah, just get the people in um, for this contest. Well, for this reward, right? So going forward, when you refer someone, you're credited 50 Rhino bucks upon them signing up. That's how we have it set up. But there is a certain responsibility that I accept being Rhino, right? If you go ahead and refer someone to, a, to an outcome that's not well written, was that your fault or was that my fault? If you refer someone and say, Ann, I brought in my best friend, I brought in my mother, but you know what? your offer just really isn't good and I, I can't force them to, is that your fault or mine? Point being, I believe we got as, I believe we built it as great as we could as of the second. I woke up at three in the morning and wrote that entire email from five pages to three, all the ways down to one. I'm confident that if someone receives that email and they're open-minded and they actually like you, right? Like you're not just referring anyone, um, that they'll then go to the presentation. The presentation is a four minute, like this is how it's done. If somebody goes through all of that, I'm going to take responsibility that if they sign up, great. But if they don't, I'm not going to uh, put that on anyone else. So to be clear, Leon, um, just refer 20 people and you'll get the million. Robert, to be clear, is there an email script we must use? No, it's the greatest part. All right, so maybe Robert doesn't know this, and maybe others don't. So let me go ahead and do something for you. Uh, all right, so, okay. I'm going to put this in the chat for everyone. So actually, uh, so Robert, upon clicking that, uh, what you'll find is it's a form. Actually, you know what? Let me just do a share screen. Uh, so let's do this. Oh, come on. You know what, computer? Do you want me to kick your butt? And I'm looking right at the camera, so I'm sorry. All right, so this is the form. And what you'll see is tell us about yourself. So this would be where you put your name and your email. That's how our system captures who gets the credit. And then tell us about your friends, you know, uh, Mr. Uh, Mike Davis, this is his email. Tell us why your friend should join. One of our rhinos last night was like, Anthony, I want to actually say a lot. A hundred words is, hey, it feels kind of markety. I want to say, you know, good things. I want to say stuff. Um, so we went ahead and changed it to 300 words. And this could get changed to 500 at the end of the week. I'm going to check back in with that rhino. But it could be something along the lines of, hey, Mike Jones, I've been with Anthony. I've been with Rhino for over a year. This is the real deal. If you've ever trusted me for anything, please trust me with this. Get involved, right? And you know what? Copy and paste that. I'm not going to tell anyone and send it to everyone. As long as it's a genuine message that you believe, there's no reason why you have to go ahead and write it a thousand times. Like, if that's what you believe, copy and paste it. All right. Anthony, what wallet are we? Oh, so tomorrow... Uh, Wednesday is our articles, right? Tomorrow is going to be an article on the wallet. I'm spending a majority of my day uh, doing that. So tomorrow you'll be able to read an article that's very concise, simple, step-by-step. -step. Here's the wallet uh, choices. This is how to do it. This is um, just step-by-step. -step. Like if you press this button, this is what's gonna happen type of stuff. 
Um, but I, I do know the wallet's a big deal. And I have tried diffusing it little by little by video here, video there. But I do understand it's been, my method's been a little unsuccessful in the sense that it is that foreign to everyone. And rather than say, hey, if you don't understand wallet, go kick rocks. It's responsibility is, hey, Anthony, do a better job, right? So tomorrow that's happening. E, referrals are for Rhino as within the Rhino retirement signups or Rhino as part of Rhino directory or both. Um, no, don't ever be sorry. That's a great question. Um, it is for this, but I mean, if all of a sudden you're like, and I'm going to recommend 20 businesses that are local that I know, I'm not going to punish that. Well, punish is such a strong word. I'm not going to ignore that. Um, if that's all you can do, and that's what you think is your superpower, do it. Um, the preference is for this form so that people will get the Rhino, um, the Rhino retirement email and join that program. But to your point, they're going to be in our email system. Um, so there's a, there's a preference, but there's not a wrong answer, if that makes sense. Mike, <laughs> and Mike knows that was him. So the person of 100 to 300 to maybe 500, and Robert's like, I love Step by Step. Yeah, it was a great show with Tim Allen, was it? Step by Step with the nosy neighbor, Wilson. No, that was tool time. Step by, all right, anyway, I'm 20, I'm 12 minutes over.